Hey bunnies, so this video is going to be another hair video and what we're gonna do is or pre-poo. Now the reason why I'm doing this video because I know there are a lot of pre-poo videos on YouTube but people I've come in contact with have no clue what a pre-poo is. Every time I mention a pre-poo they're like oh my gosh what are you doing? That's crazy, that's madness, that's witchcraft. Okay pre-pooing is pretty much treating your hair before you shampoo pre-poo before shampoo before you shampoo your hair now what this is gonna do or how I'm gonna pre-poo my hair is with oils olive oil and castor oil now you can use any oils that you choose depending on what problems you have with your hair you could also do a conditioner you can use any deep conditioner any uh 90 not 99 cent <laughs> um dollar or dollar 99 conditioner of the vo5 swap conditioners whatever you want to use to add moisture to your hair because when you shampoo your hair it does strip your hair off its natural oils so you want to build back the oils in your hair before the shampooing strips it off okay now we all know i'm relaxed this can be done on relaxed natural, Caucasian, Indian, any type of hair texture, any hair type, any ethnicity. If you have dry, brittle hair, you want to pre-poo your hair. If you want healthy hair, continuously long, strong, healthy hair, you sh I do recommend pre-pooing your hair. It's not a must, but it is a necessity. It is, it is necessary. It does help in your healthy hair journey. Okay? Now, like I said, I use both uh, I keep trying to say cactus oil. I use both castor oil and olive oil. Now the reason why I use castor oil for one is because I have like towards the end of my hair is pretty thin and I want it to be thicker. The roots of my hair, my new growth is extremely thick but because I relax, I flat iron, I blow dry, all that stuff, my hair has gotten super thin. So I use the castor oil to add the thickness to thicken up my hair and then I use olive oil because my hair is also dry. Olive oil is on the heavier side. If you have dry hair, the olive oil will definitely bring the moisture back into your hair, which I have noticed since my first pre-poo two weeks ago. I do pre-poo, or I'm, I'm trying to pre-poo every week. The olive oil is a heavier oil. If you have thicker hair and you don't want to use a heavy oil, coconut oil is a good option. Um, avocado oil is good. Avocado is, is a good strengthener. So if you have dry, bristle, breaking hair, you can try avocado oil. They do also have shea butter oil. They have liquefied pretty much every single uh, seed that you can think of. Okay, so go to your local beauty supply store or go to your local Whole Foods or wherever they sell these natural oils and try to, you know, do your research pretty much and figure out which oil is best for your hair and the problems that you have with your hair, the problems that you need to solve, okay? Now, like I said, why do I keep saying cactus oil? Cactus oil is great also. If you have dreads, if you have natural hair, it really does strengthen the hair. So cactus oil is good, let me just throw that out there. But I use castor oil and olive oil. The castor oil I use is the OK castor oil. I got it from my local beauty supply store it was, I believe it was $7.99. And the reason why I went with the OK Castor Oil is because on YouTube, I see a lot of girls that use this brand. There was another person, I honestly cannot remember her name or while watching her video, but she said that you should taste your castor oil to make sure it doesn't have any sauce in there. And I saw her taste this, so I got this. I'm not gonna taste this. Castor oil is nasty, okay? <laughs> it stinks, it tastes bad, I'm not gonna taste it. But I trust her, she tasted hers, so I'm good with that. That was enough proof for me. So I went with this one. Also, the reason why I got this one is because this one is 100% castor oil. There are no other added ingredients to this brand, to this bottle. It, it's just, if you check the ingredients, which I can't find right now, I promise you, <laughs> it's just the seed oil. It, that's it, just the castor oil. And then the olive oil that I use is this one here, which you can find in your local supermarket. I got this from, I think, either Walmart or BJ's, one of them. And this is the big old bottle, and this serves me, you best believe, for like a good six months to a year. Uh, yeah, but this is pure extra virgin olive oil, nothing else added to it, just the seed. Um, yeah, I can't find the ingredients on that either, but that's what I use. And then I use one ounce of olive oil, one ounce of castor oil, giving you two ounces, and then you just mix that up together, and that's my concoction. Like I said, you can use conditioners if you want to. I don't want to use conditioners. I prefer to use the oils. I don't think I've ever tried to use a conditioner before, but for me right now, my hair loves this. Like, after I did this the first time, it was ridiculous how soft and smooth my hair was. So I'm sticking to this.
Now let's get into how I pre-poop my hair. First, we're going to take our hair down from being in a bun all week. And I'm trying to find a protective style. I really don't know what to do with my hair. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I want to cover my entire head. I think I want to do a closure, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I, I don't know. I want it to get braids. I want it to get micros. Ugh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm diverting from the topic. Now, how I pre-poo is that I section my hair off into four sections one going straight down the middle i don't use a comb i use my fingers because it, it really doesn't matter you know how neat or whatever and my hair is pretty producty like i use my edge wax all in the front of my hair oh my goodness okay so one part down the middle and then across ear to ear and i like working in four sections whether i'm relaxing pre-pooing uh co-washing okay maybe not co-washing uh blow drying i like to have my hair in four sections for me for some reason i think that it gets done properly when it's in four sections like and it's an even amount even when i'm braiding my hair i like to do four sections and then braid a section at a time and i think i'm just in love with the number four okay so now you're gonna take your hair ties make sure you have hair ties <clears throat> and you tie off your sections now what you're gonna wanna do next is I like my applicator bottle because it gets straight onto the roots and on the ends so you're gonna take your applicator bottle or your fingers whatever and you're gonna part sections and you're going to squeeze the oil on your scalp okay then you rub that in and you continue to do sections that's two already here is three and one more in the back for like I said I think four is my favorite number and then I massage that in really well and as we know massaging your scalp stimulates hair growth which I, I don't massage my hair every night though which is probably what I should do to get even better results but yeah okay moving on now what we're gonna do now is take our oil and put this concentrate on the ends you see how my ends look kind of dry and bristle but then yeah okay this is a step up from what I was working with before so two weeks of pre pooing and I have already seen results I'm super happy with pre pooing and co-washing and all that good stuff now take your oil and you start at the ends or well I start at the ends and I moisturize that in I mean well yeah rub that in and you bring it all the way up and now I do want to mention that I do not use the entire two ounces of oil um, I use about one ounce so you can say like a quarter ounce on each section so let's check where we are on this yeah about a quarter ounce on each section and then I let that get in there and that is one now as you can see I got some oil on my face no worries no worries I was not hurt I'm not harmed okay. now when you have oiled your scalp and your ends and you have massaged it in completely what you are going to do is take your plastic cap <coughs> roll that on your head and you get these at your beauty supply store 10 for a dollar they're super cheap actually need some more because all of mine are done and this is stretched out anyways you plastic cap that bad boy because what you want to do right now is get as much heat as possible on your head okay now if you have a hooded dryer or a soft bonnet dryer you want to slap that on your head right now sit under your dryer and you can do that for I think 15 minutes but because I don't have that nor do I have the time I have two kids which are outside making a bunch of noise after you slap this on I take my scarf Tie that bad boy up. I just hide in the back because if I tie it in the front, I'll get a headache and I don't have time for headaches. So, scarf it up. After she's scarfed up, 
take my satin bonnet because did I tell you this is my first satin bonnet ever and I made sure I got the one that was like infused with olive oil and shea butter even though I think that's completely ridiculous but hey what if it actually works okay so I take my bonnet slap it on my head and we hope that this does create some heat up under there and you know make all the oils work their magic um and that's it after i leave this on for one hour two hours because anything less than an hour i don't think it's gonna make a difference hey if you if you don't have the time but you still want to do it sure go ahead by all means if you only have 20 15 30 minutes you know to do a pre-poo go right ahead but me i like to do it after i come home from work on a friday afternoon like today slap it in there get it done so that on saturday sunday i have nothing to worry about except making videos for you gorgeous people you know taking care of my family because i do have a household to run get ready for work all that stuff so friday afternoon this is my friday night jam session anyways um <clears throat> what did i want to tell you okay so after you're done if you when you think your pre-poo has done its job you can leave it overnight if you want to also I'm not sure about the conditioners because the conditioners might run. So, but the oils you can't leave overnight. By the time you take it off, your hair will be soaked, completely saturated, which you do want. So, when you take that off, co-wash your hair. That's what I do. I slap on my Tresemme conditioner, co-wash it so that I get that extra moisture. And then I do two shampoos with my Perfective Growth Stimulating Shampoo, whatever it's called, from Perfective. Love that company. And then I do my conditioner, my deep conditioner, with them, which I'm completely out of. Somebody send me some deep conditioner, please, please. The deep conditioner, um, I'm, oh, I got my Afoji two-step protein treatments. I'm gonna do that and for my breakage, yes, honey. And I'm gonna do my two-step protein treatment, my deep conditioner. All of this is off topic though, but still, okay. After I do that, I'm gonna let my hair air dry and then I'm going to blow dry on a low just to get out all the damp sections but this is only if i'm like in a rush i blow dry on low after my hair has been air dried just to straighten it out some more and then i do a heat pass with my flat iron a couple times and my fancy handy dandy tension brush and then that's it i wrap that puppy up or i braid that puppy down slap on a weave slap on a wig mommy is good to go thank you guys so much for watching if you have any more questions about pre-pooing which i don't think you should if i haven't covered anything which you think i should have covered please leave it in the comment section below i've just figured out this google plus connection thing and they finally realized that people hate this thing the google plus connection thing so they have brought back a section where i can see all your comments so leave your comments your questions your concerns everything down below in the comment in the <laughs> comment section and i will definitely answer Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace sign and kissy face. Bye.